everybody, how's it going today? Uh, what I wanna show you in this video is how to uh, put animations on custom objects that you're importing into Lumion. Uh, in the current version that I'm using, 10.3, you can only, or I guess the, the current version is 10.5, but 10.3, 10.5, same deal. You can only import um, transformation animations. It means you can move a block, uh, you can rotate a block, or you can make the block bigger or smaller, uh, but you can't do anything like, you know, rigging like a, a person to have like hands and stuff moving because those are bone animations uh, for the most part. So what we're going to do first is we're going to come in here. Uh, we're going to go to, uh, we're going to open up a Blender file. I really recommend that you use Blender and not SketchUp to do this kind of stuff because SketchUp is not made to do this. Like I think you can download an add-on called Animator, and if you really want to do that, you can but I think that this is just way easier to do in uh, Blender. So I'm not gonna delete the, the default cube. I'm gonna come down to here where it says end. I'm gonna click that, go 100. And now I'm gonna click the auto keying. I'm gonna click on my block again, hit G Y, just so that we're gonna, G means grab, so we're gonna grab it and move it on the Y axis. We're just gonna wiggle it a bit and then we're going to go to 50. We're going to hit GY. We're going to move it out here. And we're going to go back to 100 and hit GY and move it back right to here. So if you then hit this play animation button, you can see that now the block is sliding uh, inside of our scene. So I'm going to put it back to 1. I'm going to go to File, Export, FBX, Desktop. And I already made a couple of these, so I'll just delete that. Block move. And... Um, one thing I should mention too is that make sure that bake animation is checked and just check all these boxes. Um, since Blender can't use too much of the animation uh, information, I find that it's just easier to just check everything on and it will use what it needs um, because I, all the times I've done it, I haven't had any issues um, with just checking them all. So we'll F or export the FBX, go to import, uh, block move, I'll call it block move one. And as you can see, when I drop it, now we have a moving block here. So now that that's done, I'm going to close Blender. I'm going to open up another one. I guess I'll just open, since we're going to have to make a third one, I'll actually just open that now so we're saving a bit of time. Okay, so I'm going to go to General. Now I'm going to do the same thing where I come down to End, click 100. Uh, I'm going to turn on the Auto Keying. I'm going to click on this, and then I'm just going to rotate it a bit. To there and then i'm just gonna like rotate it back like i said it's just i find it's the fastest just to wobble it a little bit because then you as soon as you apply any kind of movement or rotation or anything to it with this blue thing selected here um or sorry i should guess i should say the auto keying then it will automatically uh put in a movement i guess frame for you um or keyframe now what i like to do is click on this make sure it's selected go to item and now we're gonna go to rotation i'm just gonna hit zero just to make sure that it's all back 100% to zero. Uh, then we're gonna move this up to 50 again. Click on it, RZ 180. And now we're gonna go to 100 and we'll do 1Z, or sorry, RZ 180. So we're gonna rotate it on the up and down axis, the Z axis, uh, 180 degrees. Now if I hit animation again, then we see that it is now spinning. Uh, and you could make it so it's perfectly spinning all the time, but I just don't wanna take the extra time to do that right now, which I think that that's, um, that functions well enough. So now we'll go to export and we will go down to the desktop, block rotation. I'll get rid of that because that's an older one I did. Uh, make sure everything's checked off right. We'll hit export FBX. Now, uh, I'll just get rid of these ones. These are some older ones that I was just testing with. Uh, block rotation, as you can see, block rotation, import animations on. I think. I should probably mention that with the other one too. You have to have this checked. Um, I can't remember if I did actually just mention it with the movement or not, but just make sure that the import animations is checked. It's very important because if you don't do it, it doesn't matter. You will not be able to have animations. So hit okay. And then as you can see, we now have this rotating. Uh, and I am actually going to test something quickly because um, when I did this originally, I tried doing all three blocks um, and it doesn't work. Like you can't put a scale block in a rotation block and a movement block all in the same thing. 
but I do just want to test quickly and see if we can move and rotate at the same time, which I'm pretty sure you can, but I just want to make sure before I basically tell people that. So we just go to the 50, hit GY and move it out here. And I think if we hit this, yeah, so now you can see that this should be working. Okay, so let's uh, export this again and see if that worked. Export FBX. Uh, I think this was rotation. So yeah, make sure everything's checked off. Good. I'm going to come into Lumion. I'm going to delete this one. I'm going to import. Oh, actually, first though, I'm going to go here and I'm going to delete this old model just so that we it comes in no problem because I want to have it named block rotation. Okay. And then, yeah, as you can see, so this does actually work. So I, um, I think that it's, as long as you have like one block, you can do different transformations with it. But if you have three individual blocks, one doing movement, one doing rotation, one doing scale, uh, I think it doesn't know how to handle that. So, uh, just keep that in mind. And for the last one, I want to show you, uh, I'm just going to close this one down and I'm going to open up this blender file. Uh, I'm going to do what I was doing before where I hit turn that on and 100. I'm going to scale this up, uh, say two, and then I'm going to hit uh, sorry, if you hit S2 while clicking on it, it'll scale up twice as big. Now, if I hit S.5, we're going to scale it back down, uh, except now we have the keyframe there. And you can really, it doesn't matter. Like, I just find it's easier than actually just going and keying in the actual keyframe. I think you can just come up to scale and hit I. Um, I, I just kind of got used to doing it like this. So uh, either way works. So if you go to 50, we'll hit S3 on it. Okay. Now we're going to go to 100. Click on this again. S. Oh, sorry, we had to do S.333, which is close enough. It's not perfect, but like I said, it's not that big of a deal. And then we should see the block going in and out. So I'm going to bring this back to one, go to file, uh, export, oh, file, export, FBX. I'm going to call this block scale. I'm going to make sure everything is checked on export. So we're going to come in, import, block scale, import animations. Yes. And now that is working for us. So as I said, I, I think you'd be able to apply the scale to this block. So that's moving, rotating and scaling, but I'm not going to bother doing that right now just because that is a bit of extra time. Uh, I am going to show you quickly how you actually get these animations to work um, in Lumion though, because while we brought it into build mode, technically, we haven't animated them yet. So if we go to like record and then we click here, like if we play, okay, so they actually are moving. So uh, now I will say this. So when I first did this in camera mode, it wasn't, uh, obviously they didn't move, but I will just show you one quick thing then. So don't worry about what I said. If you bring them in like that, they will animate normally. Um, I will show you this though. So uh, if you have the photo here and I'll just actually remove this so you can see. So basically, if you have a photo, it's always locked to the same place. But if you actually wanted the animation to be at like a particular place in the cycle, uh, like there was an important thing you needed to do, then you need to come in to your effects, go to animation and time warp. I wasn't sure if you had to do that in your video or not, um, just because I did run through this and I kind of ran into this problem. So I figured I'd actually re-record the video to specifically show you the time warp but I should have checked to make sure that that was actually the case of the video. So if you bring in the animations with the video, there's no problem. Uh, it should all go. However, you can use the time warp to make it start at certain times. So as you can see here, offset for animated imports and models. So as you can see, like we can move it through, uh, you can make it have like a five second delay or a 10 second delay. Um, so if you had maybe like a person, if you're doing an animation, a person on a bike going by, then you can almost give it like a 10 second delay. So maybe the camera moves to a certain spot and then you can make it so the camera and the person line up at the exact point you want them to. Um, so yeah, that's basically, uh, that's the basics of it. I am gonna be releasing a couple of videos on what you can do with this. Um, for the most part, it's mostly the movement and the rotation. I don't really use the scale that much uh, because I just don't know that many things that would dramatically change size, I guess, in a render. Um, maybe like the only thing I can kind of think of is maybe like a balloon inflating, but uh, regardless, that, um, that is the end of the tutorial for today. So uh, I wanted to say that if you're not subscribed to the channel, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button and uh, kept checking out my content. Uh, I have been trying to uh, just release some things that 
I when I was first learning Lumion, uh, I didn't think it was very uh, clear just from either some of the tutorials that were offered uh, through the Lumion website or just from other creators. So I'm trying to just get, uh, I guess, all the cool tips and tricks that uh, I at least know in Lumion uh, kind of onto the internet so that people can uh, use those tools to learn and maybe even discover new tools. Um, and with the last thing I'll say is that if you are subscribed to the channel, thank you very much. Uh, I really appreciate it. And uh, I hope I will see you in the next one. Have a good one, guys.